let's get into it, y'all. Kiyosaki versus I wasn't even trying to say it like Kiyosaki, whatever it is. Robert Kiyosaki versus Dave Ramsey. Again, we're gonna go to Money Wise. Let me go ahead and share the screen. And I'm interested to see how this article, you know, this seems like it's gonna be like a compare a contrast article, like put putting them against each other. So interested to see. All right. Who was right? And the Yahoo Finance article was a set of four minute read too. Oh, well, that's four minute read. I guess that's a four minute audio. But the Yahoo Finance article wasn't broken up how like into sections like how I like. Anyways, uh, who was right? Rich dad, poor dad, author Robert Kiyosaki bragged that being one point two billion. I told y'all some maybe for like a couple years ago. Robert Kiyosaki said he was like seven hundred million, eight hundred million dollars in debt. Now again, that's not his net worth. That's that's how much he is in debt. But he's saying. $1.2 billion in debt is better than friend, quote unquote, Dave Ramsey's mantra, living debt free. Let's go real quick. Let's pull up the net worth of these two. I don't, I don't know. If, again, I don't read these articles ahead of time. Let's see if we can get Robert's net worth and we get Dave Ramsey's net worth. Okay, it's it's not popping up like I wanted to. So we're going to go celebrity net worth, I guess, saying Rob Kiyosaki is $100 million. So if he's got 1.2 billion in debt and his net worth is 100 million, that means he would have 1.3 billion in assets. All right, that's from Celebrity Net Worth. Let's go, Dave Ramsey. Let's see, Investopedia is saying Dave at 200 million. Let's go back. Let's do here same article again. 200 million again. Now Dave, Dave I believe, says that the new. It's not. I mean, relatively new, like in the last five years. So office that he's in now. Where they hold the show from i feel like he says that's in the 300 million dollar range i believe if i remember that correctly but dave's got per per celebrity what net worth how valid is that robert kiyosaki's at 100 million and then per celebrity net worth and then bestopedia bestopedia is i would say pretty reliable saying dave's got 200 million so dave's got double the net worth of robert kiyosaki he doesn't have near the assets that Robert Kiyosaki has, but he has double the net worth. So again, assets, shops that, you know, earn your leisure assets over liabilities, but your net worth is your assets minus your liabilities. And since Dave Ramsey lives debt free, he, per, per him, has no debt at all. So he just has $200 million in assets, $0 in debt. So his net worth is $200 million. And Robert Kiyosaki, based off of the internet, he would have to have $1.3 billion in assets. All right. So he's not a billionaire. But he does have over a billion dollars in assets. All right. Here we go. Robert Kiyosaki, author of the best selling book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, publicly challenged finance guru Dave Ramsey on X. Kiyosaki, they're always going back and forth. I mean, Dave is, excuse me, is it Susie? I forget the other person, um, the, the lady's name, but her and Dave are like the two most notorious people, Dave being the most notorious without question, from being quote unquote, you know, not quote unquote, living completely debt free. And Robert Grant Cardona, pretty much everyone else using debt or leverage, as they call it, in some form or fashion um, to, you know, run their businesses. Yeah, Kiyosaki proudly proclaimed his $1.2 billion debt, challenging the conventional wisdom that it's better to be debt free. In March, Kiyosaki, oh, I'm doing terrible. Excuse me, Victoria. All right, if you're the first time listening, the names of these authors, they haven't been tripping me up as of late. I guess you know, I'm getting better. But Vesovisky, Vescovisky. All right, and this was updated on April 29, 2024. All right, again in March, uh, Robert posted, "My friend Dave Ramsey says live debt free. I say I use debt to invest. I'm 1.2 billion in debt again. Who is right? I would say based off the quick internet search, Dave will be right because his net worth is higher. I mean, what well, well, what is Robert using to determine? I know he can't be saying the fact that he has more debt makes him right. I would say that's." That wouldn't be the logical way to think about that. Kiyosaki champions an investment philosophy that leverages debt, not as a burden, but as a tool to build wealth by investing in tangible assets such as precious metals. All right, so you talk about gold here. Dave, Dave does not believe. It. I mean, this is not the. I don't know if I should ever do an episode about breaking down. You know, Dave Ramsey's philosophy because I believe that people use Dave Ramsey when they talk about him negatively or they just use like clickbait. And I believe his name is like sensational. I'm mean, excuse me, sensational for the sensational. It's sensational for the algorithm. I believe if you want to get something to go viral, just talk bad about Dave Ramsey slash Ramsey solutions and you're bound to get your post to do some numbers. And I think people just do that, you know, for the internet, but they actually don't disagree 
with his principles slash philosophy. He's not saying they 100% agree because they don't 100% agree with anybody, but they don't just flat out disagree. And then when you listen to their principles, a lot of people's stuff mirrors Dave Ramsey. And when you just sit down and just do, you know, a blanket thing of the seven baby steps and not like attach Dave Ramsey's name to it, most people agree with it. Not just agree with the seven baby steps, but usually agree with the order. All right, bud. I was like, maybe one day I should be like, why do people disagree with Dave Ramsey? Why is there Dave Ramsey hate? And then show like, this is just what the principles are and show how most people agree with it. But here we go. Don't miss, don't miss, wait, commercial. Okay, that's, that's at All right. By choosing assets, he believes he hears Robert Kiyosaki. He believes will withstand economic fluctuations. Kiyosaki built a portfolio that reflects his skepticism for traditional monetary systems. However, this approach has resulted in a massive amount of debt, which he often brags about. If you want to invest like Kiyosaki without going to a billion dollars of debt, here's how you can get started. Let's be clear. To get a billion dollars in debt, you have to, I would think in theory, if you're not, you know, breaking the law slash scamming, you have to have some ability to generate some type of revenue and profit. Not going to get to a billion dollars in debt, right? By just playing around. You can get to a million, but a billion? Nah, you get into a thousand million? No. He had to only have 12, 1,200 million here. You can see that 1.2 billion in debt. Here we go. Gold. Precious metals like gold and silver are widely favored as safeguards against inflation and economic instability. Kiyosaki agrees with this, acknowledging the U.S. dollar's disconnection from the gold standard since 1971. Okay. Robert Kiyosaki and um, is it Steve? Uh, I can't remember Steve Steve's name, but I know there are two people that uh, believe going into debt. But um. Yeah, since 1971, during the presidency of Richard Nixon. In October, Kiyosaki predicted gold will soon break through 2100 and then take off. You will wish you had bought gold below 2000. Next stop, 3700. What's it at now? If you want to diversify your portfolio with gold, consider opening okay, a gold IRA. Okay, with help for okay, this advertisement. Okay. Um, they're saying that you can get tax advantages. Uh, of a traditional retirement account with gold. Okay, cool. All right, another ad. Okay, add again. All right, big, okay, Bitcoin. Though Kiyosaki has reservations about the stock market, he appears unfazed by the volatile nature of cryptocurrency. See, when it comes to people you know, disagreeing with the stock market, it's one thing if you don't want to invest in the stock market, but what it's been doing essentially, essentially the entire life of the stock market, smart stock market is going up. Like that, that's without doubt. I mean, there's a reason SP 500 is the marker that everything is measured against. Now, if you want to believe, right, you know, you don't trust it, you know, people messing around with the numbers, things like that. That's one thing. But to say one thing the numbers are doing over time is going up. All right. If you're looking to invest in Bitcoin, watch out for high commission fees, no crypto trades. With Robinhood, you can buy and sell crypto with no commission fees. Shout out to Robinhood. By the way, and I'm just going to do that, you know. Do the distraction again. I wonder what Robin Hood is doing now. How is Robin Hood doing now? Can I easily pull it up? I can't easily pull it up. I remember I would always check and see how the Robin Hood, how Robin Hood stock was doing since the IPO. With Robin Hood, okay, again, just, just advertising here. Okay, another shout out to Robin Hood. All right, here we go. Managing debt. Are we going to get into Dave at all? I guess not. Managing debt. While Kiyosaki advocates using debt to acquire assets, it's important to remember that this approach carries many inherent risks. This article is going to be a little ugh. If having debt hanging over your head is a burden, an online marketplace... Okay, credible again. My goodness. Okay, who's right? If, you unsure, if you're unsure about where you fall on the debate between Kiyosaki and Ramsey, it might make sense to get a take from a qualified financial professional. Ooh. Good point there. Kiyosaki often urges his followers on X to be cautious when choosing a financial advisor, urging people to be cautious of the intentions of their advisors. Part of February post from Kiyosaki reads, don't be a loser. Choose your financial advisor carefully. True. 